Good afternoon. This is Patrick and you are trading with Prime. What an amazing turnaround day. This is not what I was expecting. I was expecting more to the downside. Let's go look at, at what happened between last night and today. I'm going to put it on the 30 minute time frame. Actually, let me, let me turn on extended hours. Put it on the 30 minute time frame. We were talking about, you know, yesterday we did have a short trade in. And where would our stop loss be knowing that we were wrong in this short trade? The high of this candle right here, which I believe the number comes in around 334.85, somewhere in that price range, 334.75, somewhere in there. What we saw after hours last night is we saw it putting in a bear flag pattern, but it actually broke out of this pattern. It started rallying above our stop loss. Nothing we can do about it. This morning we saw price come back in and it tested it as support. As soon as market the market opened, I closed that position, seeing what basically the price action was overnight. Now it is possible tonight we have the same kind of thing. It is possible that tonight we do see a little bit of a pullback here. There's actually a lot of room in here to run. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it back on the 30 minute time frame. Actually, let's do a uh let's do a, an hourly chart here. We can kind of see a little bit of a range happening here. Now, this entire pattern that we were seeing in here, to me, it's now off the table only because price is now consolidating. We began closing above hourly uh, closes above this can this big candle. So, to me, this is no longer a reversal candle, especially since we put in a new high, three thirty eight twenty eight. Something we were discussing also is if price has run up. Now it's trading sideways just underneath this resistant level of all time high 339.08. So I know I've said this in previous videos. I know I've said if price comes up here and, and tags this 339.08, that's definitely a, an optimal place to take a, sh a short trade as far as a day trade is concerned. But, but because we've been consolidating and now we're beginning the consolidation period, this short trade for me, let's say we, we pull back for a couple days and we go to hit this price level for me we might as well go right through all-time highs i don't i'm not going to take a day trade off of that it was good you know the last few days but not now that we're consolidating if that makes any sense let's see what tomorrow brings if i go back out to the the uh daily chart here let me zoom in for you guys you can kind of see the all-time highs over here at 339 just to zoom in here just so we can see support and resistance i do see a little bit of support down here you know, we can go ahead and call this gap that's down here at 331.31. That's support resistance. We might as well say it's 3, 339.08. Let's call that price area resistance until it's broke, until it's not resistance. Um, you know, and then if we do have a breakout, let's look for a breakout back test and then possibly take the higher highs. You could take the actual back test itself, putting a stop loss just below 339.08. I would be really careful in taking a trade when the price is below because you never know what could happen is, let's say in, in the after hours uh, session, we go ahead and pop that level. Anything can happen. You know, I don't know, maybe New York will open it tomorrow morning at 630 and they'll sell it off. So you really got to be careful when you're getting near these this all time high. We don't really know what's going to happen. We ha just have to play it. I think the most conservative route to take it is the con most conservative way to take this, I believe, is a breakout back test and then begin to rally off of that price level. Um, you know, we could call it 339.80, 339.08 to 339.80, somewhere in that range. You know, but let's see what happens. Anything is possible. We could honestly sell it off overnight, but we have confirmed support in that area. Something I did notice today, this candle today, we're looking at the low of this candle being the low of today's candle is 332.84. Something I noticed here is. It's not, it's a misprint because when you go in here, obviously you don't see, you know, as low as we get today is 334.95. It is a misprint, but you know, today was a bullish day. What I was looking for, instead of taking a trade off the S&P 500, because we're pretty extended, pretty high on the chart. Same with the IWM. If you look at the IWM, if I go to the daily, the daily chart, same thing. We're pretty extended here, you know, based on this last week and a half of trading. Let it consolidate, let it work off some of the premium. If I zoom in here, let me zoom in a little bit more here. If I zoom in on these candles here, you can kind of see we've run up, let it, you know, it kind of broke out. Now it's consolidating a little bit. 
let it continue consolidating for a few days before actually taking a trade off this one way or the other. First of all, it hasn't been rejected. We saw a pullback at 160, has not been rejected. We don't see follow through to the downside and we definitely don't see follow through to the upside. Let it consolidate and build off some of the energy uh, or rather build up some more energy to make a move one way or the other. Let's go to the queues because this is where I saw a trade. I posted this in the Discord. Um, and if you don't, just don't know, there's uh, the link to the Discord is underneath the video in the comment section. So as far as the queues go, you know, we were questioning this yesterday. We were saying, okay, well, this could possibly be distribution. This could possibly be, um, you know, rotation, sec you know, sector rotation. It could be distribution. It could be consolidating for higher prices. We don't really know. Something I noticed today, though, even though we kind of broke down below this level, if I can zoom in one more time, let me zoom in one more time. And I know this. I really want you guys to see to see this on your screen. I know it might be kind of big. I noticed this, you know, we found there's a there's an area in here of resistance slash support. So that's kind of how I was treating this. I saw the rest of the markets have been rallying for a week. The queues have been kind of been trading sideways, especially the last three days. We've really been trading down a little bit. The last week and a half, two weeks, we've been trading sideways. Probably a few weeks now we've been trading sideways. It's burnt, it's had time to burn off some of the steam. Also, if we go back to this chart and I really begin to look at this, something that we, we know is we have this rising trend line, right? We have it on the S&P 500. We have it on the IWM, the XLF. We're at support as far as this rising trend line. And so something I was saying yesterday is until it breaks through, let's give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. It hasn't actually broken down through this price level just yet. So let's see what happens. But technically speaking, we are at support right now. So this morning, what I was looking at is I was looking at, you know, what can I trade today that will be risk to reward wise is the closest one to risk. And to me, the queues were as close to this trend line compared to all the other markets. The other markets are pretty far extended. The queues are, were the, is, you know, close to this price level. So my viewpoint, the risk to reward wise, if we were going to have a bullish day, it would be more likely than not in the queues. Plus, since we saw the um, Tesla, you know, Apple is having a good day. We saw some good price action in a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the different areas. So looking at the intraday chart on the queues, and I'm gonna make this 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 video be pretty short tonight. Looking at the intraday chart, pre-market, I kind of saw this, you know, same thing. We bought them out over here. We made we started making an intent, we pulled back, we rallied again. So as we were pulling back into the opening of the day, one of two things went through my mind. Either A, the queues are going to roll over and pull the rest of the market down with it. Or we're going to find support here since the other markets are rallying. We're going to find support here out the gate. And so what I did is I went long using this price level, the uh, pre-market or after hours yesterday highs um, to this morning's pre-market lows. I use that as a price zone saying, okay, that's going to be my stop loss area if we get below that, which was roughly... 266.90. So I went long here in the queues first, right out of the gate, posted it in Discord. Um, and you know, here's the thing anything can happen overnight. To me, there's a lot of potential. There's more potential because the queues have had a little bit more time to burn off energy. You know, we do see a little bit of bullish patterns consolidation going on here. It's possible the queues pull back and then start to start to begin again tomorrow. Or, you know, the entire who knows, the entire market could just roll over tonight. Any, I mean, anything is possible. I was saying, you know, we really got to be careful in these price areas up here because as far as the S&P 500 goes, risk to reward wise, we are at resistance right now. This is as close to resistance as you would get. However, the market hasn't fallen over yet. It hasn't rolled over yet. And like we were saying yesterday, it's going to take it a lot of, it's going to be a lot of work for the market to just begin to roll over. So we really got to be mindful of that. If I look at the futures here, I'm not going to do the financials tonight. Um, you know, the IWM and financials, I'm not going to get into tonight. I just wanted to briefly show you the IWM. But so to finish it up right here with the with the futures, you kind of see a little bit of support and resistance. And if I zoom in a little bit more than this, we're all, already almost at all time highs. And like I said, at this point, it would be almost be easier if we would just break the old all time highs. But what we're seeing in the even in the ES futures, we're seeing consolidation, possibly a, a broadening 
you know, megaphone type of a pattern, which could, you know, sometimes these are bearish patterns, but this is the, the you know, it's the daily chart. I wouldn't get too focused in on that. We are above this trend line, you know, coming in off the March lows, March and April lows. So to me, I think at this point, we might as well go make all time highs. It would probably suck in more buyers. And this is probably what the market is after. Let's get as many buyers in on the buy side as possible before we do roll over. I just want everyone to be aware that we will be here. We're not going to miss the the short setup of the decade. We're, we're not going to miss it. You know, the, the chart isn't doing this. The chart is in an uptrend. It's continuously making higher highs and higher lows. And it's easier to be more profitable in an uptrend than it is trying to pick the top and, and, and try to predict what the top is going to be. I do see more downside in the future. I just think that that the market is going to want to suck in um, you know, as many bears as possible going over to the bull camp before it decides to roll over. So, and then even when it does, we will catch it. We will, we won't, we won't miss it. We'll catch it, you know, maybe a breakdown back test and then, and then some follow through and see what, see what happens. But we're nowhere even near that yet. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Let's see what the weekly close on Friday brings. Good luck to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully this video made sense. And, uh, you know, if you guys are gaining value out of these videos, be sure and hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe bell notification. Again, this Sunday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we have the options. We'll be going over options, intermediate and, and uh, beginning options. So appreciate it, guys. Good luck tomorrow.